Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing 10 tips that would help you with your Ana play in Overwatch. Most people I've seen have been making a few mistakes and hopefully uh, these can correct the mistakes and uh, improve your gameplay as well. Uh, most people I'm thinking will take one or two things out of this list and be like, perfect, I'm gonna take that and use it in the gameplay that I'm already uh, accustomed to. But uh, yeah, I'm just really hoping this benefits some of you guys out there. And here are the 10 tips starting now. So the first tip with Anna is you want to stay back from where all the action is happening. It's uh, similar to playing with Zenyatta, but what you're going to do is pretty much just sit in the background, find a nice camping spot, and then shoot everything that moves. Since her rifle both does uh, damage to enemies and it heals your uh, teammates. And you don't have to change back and forth with settings like a character like Mercy does. You just shoot away. And uh, pretty much you, it's kind of hard finding these good positions because you can't climb up high like Hanzo or use a grappling hook like Widowmaker. So those snipers would have an advantage in that respect. But still, you need to find a good position with Anna and just kind of hanker down there. My second tip for you is when you get caught in combat, you don't want to be scoping in a lot because just the scope speed isn't quick enough to be quick scoping people. So uh, you just want to be no scoping as you're healing and attacking. And also when you're in close combat, you're going to want to utilize the grenade because that can both heal and do damage to the enemy at the same time, which is very useful. And just like Mercy in close combat, you're going to want to stay behind your heroes and just continuously fire into them and your opponent. As I mentioned in the second tip, uh, when you get into close combat situations, if it's just you and the enemy, most likely Anna's going to lose, so you want to use your sleep dart to evade them. Once you hit the sleep dart into the enemy, then you're just going to have to resist the urge to attack them, hands off, and then just bail. Because at that point, you're wanting getting you're wanting to get into another sniping position that's going to be more beneficial than the one you are already in. And the fourth tip would be use the biotic grenade not to just heal your teammates, but to heal yourself when relevant. So when you have like you're running low on health, you're gonna want to throw the biotic grenade at your feet, and that's gonna give you a big boost. And unlike other healers like Mercy and Symmetra, you can't naturally heal yourself as the game goes on. So you're going to have to find health packs or, as I do, get close to a teammate, throw the grenade at your feet. It heals both of us. Number five is a sleep dart. Stop alts in place. So if you just use your sleep dart, like seen in the trailer, McCree's alt was interrupted right during his high noon. Stopping alts like Mercy's res can be game changing, since these alts typically change the game anyways, stopping them will automatically shift it into your favor, sending them back to uh, the spawn point, allowing yourself to uh, capture the objective more than you had before. So pretty much just stopping these alts is huge, and it's probably something well known by now since there's an achievement out that is stop a hero's alt, but yeah. This is a very useful technique if used in the right position, so save that uh, sleep dart for someone who you think might be using an alt sometime along the road. Tip number six is after you use the sleep dart, take your time. I am tired of seeing people use the sleep dart and just shoot them randomly right afterwards. So if you're attacking solo, you can go behind their hero and get at least two more shots in. Anna doesn't shoot fast. She can't just blow through them like a Tracer or McCree. You have to get behind the enemy and then that will give you an extra shot or two because they have to turn around and reposition themselves to shoot you. Another thing is if you're with another hero, it's more likely they're stronger since Anna is a support. So give them the first attack so they can get a headshot and you can pile on damage after that. So tip number seven is Anna can't get headshots, so you're going to want to aim for the chest or the easy shots on the character. Typically, when you're a sniper, you're going to want to line up the headshots because that's going to give you the most damage in the long run and even the kill. But with Anna, it would just be unfair if she actually had headshots with the sleeping dart because you could easily line up headshots as they're asleep and just destroy so many heroes. So yeah, just aim for the easy shot and don't worry about them headshots. 
Tip 8 is one that most people don't know. The grenades have extra effects on them. So, you do know when you throw a grenade at a teammate, it heals them. When you throw it at an enemy, it uh, does the opposite, it harms them. So, when throwing a, a grenade at a teammate that's healing, like a Roadhog using his heal ability, it will amplify that heal. Or you throw it at a teammate being healed by Mercy, then that will amplify the heal. And then this has the reverse effect when you're throwing it at an enemy. Say you have a Mei and she's being healed by a Mercy, you throw that onto her, for 5 seconds she can no longer be healed. So it's pretty much open fire on the Mei. So yeah, use this uh, grenade effects as you will. It is very useful in many strategic uh, situations. So uh, yeah, that's tip number 8. Tip number 9 is be selective with the Nano Burst or Anna's Alt. While it does power up a friendly hero, it can be easily wasted. So you want to pick a player on the team that you see that's been making contributions and that is a very offensive hero. And when I say offensive, I don't even mean like strictly the attacking class. Like if you power up a Reinhardt or a Roadhog, that's a good choice too because it's going to increase their speed making them even more dangerous. So pretty much you're going to want to pick a player on the team that's not a support you're going to want to pick a player that is doing well on health, that isn't about to die so you waste it. And you're going to want to pick a player that you know has been contributing the whole game that you know will get the big play that you need with this alt. Tip number 10 is you're going to want to trap players in your teammates alts. And as you guessed you're going to be doing this with the sleep dart which is a very useful move as you can tell. So pretty much similar to Zari's ult where everyone is trapped into one position, the sleep dart can trap one player there, but it's not an alt, so it is to a lesser degree than Zarya's alt. But the same logic is applied. So pretty much the likelihood someone's going to escape your uh, sleep dart before your teammate throws an alt down, very slim. So if you see your teammate about to alt up, trap a player before they can get away and that's one more player that's uh, guaranteed not to flee the alt. And thank you all for watching all these tips. I hope you took something out of it that can improve your Anna play. I'm so excited about this new hero. I was playing her all last night, all yesterday. She's really fun. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any comments or uh, any input on this video, feel free to let it below or leave it below. <laughs> I respond to all of my comments and uh, yeah, have a nice day guys. Uh, throw me a sub if you like this video. If not, uh, have a good day as well. So uh, I'll see you. Bye.